quick, you only have 10 seconds to leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to know what happens when the countdown timer for the Season X Live event reaches zero. Do you want to be gifted a free skin from the item shop? Yes. Well, simply make sure you subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on and comment your epic game ID down below, letting me know also what you'd like to receive in terms of a gift off me. We're also getting so close to 850,000 total subscribers, so everybody watching the video right now, if you're not subscribed, hit the big red button and you potentially could be that 850,000 subscriber. Want me to send even bigger and better things to more of you guys whilst also supporting me? Well, simply make sure to use code Friendly Machine in the item shop. Let me know also in the comment section if you're rocking the code and your epic game games ID that way I can hook some of you guys up with some V-Bucks. Yo what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. So Season X has been a wacky season. We've literally just seen a reappearance of so many things from ulterior times in Fortnite, literally in a different dimension pulled back through. And all of these things, the big factors anyways, such as the Frozen in Time Meteor, the Rocket and Kevin the Cube's floating island form, will indefinitely be making a big contribution for the map's destruction, believe it or not, in the Season X live event. And with that said, we're going to be going over not only what we know so far in terms of what's going to be unfolding during this live event and the outcome upon it unfolding and ending, but we also know the sequencing that's been right in front of our eyes of how, in order, everything is ultimately going to occur and even trigger once a countdown timer ends that will soon be implemented to the game and when ultimately this countdown timer will be implemented. As you can tell, there's a ton of information to discuss in today's video and you guys won't want to miss out on any of this because honestly, Season X is ultimately just a disaster waiting to happen, a ticking time bomb that already is nearing its end that will go out with a bang. And without any further ado, the first things you guys will need to be aware of is the fact we're going to be seeing an LTM called The End, implying that this is going to be the end of Fortnite as we know, or even the island we've been playing on for the past 10 seasons, which ultimately is described in the description of the LTM to be some sort of fight to restore the Fortnite timeline, or our timeline in particular, implying that there's several dimensions, which is actually also implied in the visitor and scientist bio or description of the character being one of seven, also implying itself that there's seven dimensions or timelines. Even despite the battle pass timer stating there's only five days remaining of this season, we do not know when it's going to be occurring as of yet, but based off the context of prior seasons, where all live events have happened on a Saturday, there's only one space for this to happen in being October 5th. And yes, this is taken into consideration the coding that also implies that Season X will be seeing an extension, which is most likely considering, well, we haven't seen the implementation as of yet of Season X's overtime challenges. So it most likely will be extended to October 10th, but considering the scale of this event, many people are also speculating that after it happens, literally the downtime will occur for then after it raising the launch of Season 11. The reason for this being, if many of you aren't aware, is well, it's implied largely through the last ever loading screen screen we can unlock in the week 10 challenges for season x called last stop that we're going to be having a final stop on our island at this time or for this event to witness it and then be transported to a brand new island upon season 11 start as we've also been confirmed from donald mustard that we're definitely going to be seeing a brand new map at some point um okay we've had some questions about is there ever going to be a new map for for uh, battle royale Kind of like PUBG's done with the desert map or whatever. Is there going to be something else in the future, or are you just going to kind of tool around with this one? Uh, there will definitely be uh, a new map at some point. Despite this being a big implication in itself through the aesthetical appearance of the loading screen and the title or description being Thank You Bus Driver, we also have 11 new POIs or locations leaked and usually with every season that launches Epic Games typically target one area and give it a complete revamp to complement the storyline but considering this season is going to be the end of the Fortnite storyline that we currently know of anyways and with 11 named locations or POIs being found in the files that are brand new never seen before, ultimately one conclusion can only be made that we're going to be seeing either a complete revamp to this island upon it being completely destroyed or we're going to be seeing a brand new map itself. 
Anyways, with that said, that covers every potential date for this event to unfold on, but it's determined in the files that we're actually going to be seeing a countdown timer. And if this is to unfold on October 5th, the Saturday, as previously mentioned, is most likely to have this event happen on, we are not going to be seeing a seven day countdown timer that we saw last season, taking away until the event occurring, being the final showdown, the fight between the Polar Peak Monster and the Giant Mecha Robot. Considering so many countdown timers have been updated in the game's files, we ultimately know we're going to be seeing one in some way, shape or form, whether it's a beam of light in the sky like we've typically seen for the final showdown around the map on several sky platforms, or just a light in the sky, or maybe even just showcased on TVs, like for the Unvolting event, which only was a 24-hour countdown timer. Obviously back then for the Season 8 live event, the Involton event, we had other factors pointing toward ultimately when this live event would be going down through the movement, going closer to Loot Lake of every rune, and once all sat in there, it was inevitable that something was going to be happening. So applying this context to Season X, if we're only going to be seeing a 24 hour countdown timer before the event unfolds, what factors are ultimately moving in the game right now live, pointing toward when this event will be occurring? Well despite Kevin the Cube may making some weird or questionable movements this season, ultimately it could have fully circled our entire island and be making its way back to Fatal Fields where it's nearing now of where it was originally pulled through by a rift beacon from an ulterior dimension. And maybe upon this happening, it could actually start the countdown timer and this could have been an underlying factor all season, literally indicating for when this live event would be occurring. With that said, definitely make sure to keep an eye on Kevin the Cube's floating island for movement or where it's actually heading to, considering, well, I believe once it reaches Fatal Fields, maybe even the Butterfly event will reoccur, as all files pertaining to this were added back to the game upon Kevin the Cube's floating island form return from this ulterior dimension, implying also that it can actually explode yet again. Not only do the files imply that it's going to be exploding again or a Butterfly event V2 will be occurring, but the Battle Pass actually teases this and even so much more that not many people are talking about that's literally been right in front of our eyes this entire season, which also displays some sort of ordering to what's going to be going down and how this event ultimately is going to start and the ordering of each event individually making a contribution. So let's take a look at that right now. So the first thing to make you guys aware of is, yes, the Battle Pass, in fact, can actually predict future things upcoming in the season. For example, in Season 8, we had an angry volcano emote implying the volcano would then erupt. Obviously, this was before it did and turned into pressure plant. And later that season, for the Unvolting event, Aftermath anyways, coming back out of the vault, we saw the volcano explode and hit several named locations or places on the map. There's also been many other examples of when the Battle Pass has predicted future events, but that is the best one I could find you guys. So with applying that same context, looking at the Season X Battle Pass, we first initially have a spray of the rocket, ultimately foreshadowing that this will be the first event taking place or triggering the live event, and as you guys know, it's pretty obvious or almost impossible to have not noticed this being built this entire time of Season X with all the changes made at Dusty Depot inside and outside, and because of this, ultimately everybody's expecting for this to initiate or launch for the first thing that happens during the live event. If we start scrolling along, we hit Kevin the Cube, and the first implication we had in the Battle Pass as to it returning. In this single tier, obviously, we have a banner of Kevin the Cube, as you can see, and then a spray of the Butterfly, implying, yes, the Butterfly event will be occurring because of Kevin the Cube's return in this floating island form. Not to mention all the files that were added back for the Butterfly event upon Kevin the Cube's floating island form returning from this ulterior dimension, and also mixed in with the fact we saw the Butterfly itself in the Season X trailer. With this being the second event that's referred to in Battle Pass Cosmetics, this ultimately could imply that after the rocket launches and serves its purpose for initiating this live event, Kevin the Cube will explode, obviously transforming us again, maybe into the in-between like it did during the Butterfly event. Scrolling along some more, we actually hit a spray called Dusty Devastation, which ultimately refers to, well, the other influential map factor that's frozen in time right now, 
the meteor, and ultimately, it inevitably crashing from not being frozen in time anymore. It's safe to say whatever happens with the rocket launching and doing whatever it needs to, as we do not know what it will be actually doing exactly as of yet, and then with Kevin the Cube exploding maybe actually reopening time and not having it frozen anymore, upon returning to the island, we may see the meteor in game instead of as we saw in the cinematic trailer crash at Dusty Depot into Dusty Depot and create Dusty Divot Live. This honestly would make sense as to why well we're going to be transported to this particular location outside the map and obviously this is very far away which I'm guessing Epic Games want us to be if a giant meteor like this is going to crash into the Fortnite island. Anyways with us all now knowing that the battle pass can actually predict future things upcoming in terms of what cosmetics are actually included within it like the angry volcano in season 8 and even in season X Moisty Meyer spray as Moisty Moisty Meyer did make some form of return in the form of Moisty Palms. It's safe to say this theory is very valid in terms of the ordering that's teased here of this live event and the sequence it's going to follow. Epic Games, however, are also masterminds at disguising things and maybe off throwing us in making us believe one thing and then another thing actually happening that was originally teased the entire time because of the fact, well, this season ultimately is based off everything pulled back from prior seasons, all the favourite things, and ultimately because of that there are a ton of cosmetics based around prior things that have already happened that won't be involved in this live event. For example, Fire and Ice being the conflict between the prisoner and the Ice King. Entirely based off this context alone, people could argue that the sprays and cosmetics we previously talked about implying what's upcoming and the ordering of events that are going to occur in the live event are simply commemorating what's happened in the past in our entire Fortnite timeline. Referring back to what I mentioned about Epic Games being masterminds ultimately disguising things of what's upcoming coming and yet having them right in front of our eyes the entire season, this ultimately is the perfect opportunity for them to just lay out what's going to be happening in order in the battle pass, as it literally cannot be determined by us in the community what these cosmetics are actually pertaining to, either the past or what's upcoming in the future based off the context and ultimately the theme of Season X. Regardless of what happens and in what order, it's safe to say that the Season X live event is going to be the biggest one we've ever seen. If you agree with my theory or want this to actually be true, the ordering of which we've discussed today, make sure you're leaving a like on the video down below. Also make sure you're subscribing to the channel with of course the post notification bell turned on to allow all videos to come through to you guys as soon as I upload them because of the fact, well, we're going to be getting some confirmation as to when exactly this live event will be going down soon from Epic Games and I'll have that put up on the channel as soon as we get it. Hopefully I can recognise you guys staying active in the comment section of my future videos to come and I'm out. Have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching. Have a good one, take it easy and as always, peace.